I think it's now and ever for Canterbury if they are to be a force at the business end of the season. Manda says time on. Halligan kicks off in the sunshine in Newcastle. Andrew Johns handing it off immediately. Inside the danger zone now, the nine metres out. Nil all the score at Marathon. Long ball to Andrew Johns. Another long one to Craigie. Leicester came up. Grogan, one to beat. Grogan for the corner, into touch. Tried to place the ball on the left hand, but the corner flag beat him. What about the two passes across field from the Johns boys? Well, that's been the whole of the game so far, is that the, the Johns boys are going 20 and 30 metres across field, but great work by Leicester. He thought he was in, he knew he was in trouble, had to come and try and make the tackle on Craigie. Got up quick, and was just lucky that Travis Norton turn up at the same time to come over and help with this tackle. Right there is Travis Norton. He's covered something like about 30 metres. To the short side, Matthew Johns. Grogan. Greg Grogan for the corner, this time he's going to get a try. Great work, Brett Grogan. Manda checking with the touch judge. Now they're going to check with the video referee, John Yard. But Jer was great thinking from Matthew Jones, and Grogan had plenty of work to do. Well, Grogan had gone down there just once before, probably two sets of six back, and got outside Leicester once again. Oh. Well, I know his leg's out, but it hadn't hit the ground. I think he's got the ball down just in time. So tough one. Very, very tough. You see his legs out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, Wiz. Uh, Mate, that's simultaneous, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No try. Well, that's twice now. But Travis Norton has come from nowhere to save Canterbury. A brick Rogan. Nil all the score. 12 and a half. Kick ahead. Oh, uh, was that a late tackle on Glenn Hughes? He looks to be down and out. Now, slowly but surely, sitting up. Where's the replay? Glenn Hughes puts it in. Big shoulder. Oh, I think it's an accidental elbow there. Elegant. Well, add another one to his record. It's now 29 in a row for Halligan. And Canterbury lead by 2 to nil, and they should be pretty happy about that. Pincinelli. Andrew Johns, left-footed kick. Leicester allows it to bounce. Trouble here. Real trouble, but there's a knock-on by Jackson with nobody in front of him. Well, another let off for the Canterbury Bulldogs. They allowed that kick to bounce. The trace was a good one from Jackson, but he just couldn't gather the ball in. Jeez, he's worked hard, hasn't he, Jackson? But there was the ball bouncing there. Leicester let it go. Fleming let it go. There was a hit of maybe he was trying to tuck him before he got to the ball. Polamanda. To the air he goes. Towards Halligan's wing. Taken and then knocked on by Newcastle. Yes, the penalty goes to Canterbury. Yes, It's there again. Two from two for Halligan, so it's now four to nil. Canterbury over Newcastle. 30 in a row for Halligan on the 40. Andrew Johns finds Craigie. And now it's Hughes down the left-hand side. Kicks back on the inside. Giving chases Gidley. Gidley's going to win the race. Matthew Gidley gets the try. But once again, the referee wants to check it with the video referee, John Yard. Well, I tell you what, Travis Norton, this is the try. Does he get the hand down on it? Yes. As the referee said, he thought he was pretty right, but he just wanted to double check. Good work by the referee, Tim Mander, in requesting that. There he goes, down the pot. So you can see Gidley on the right-hand screen putting the hand up. That's where Fleming, the fullback, should have known. Again, Travis Norton coming across in cover. He should have fell but gone back deeper to cover that kick. They'll put themselves in a position to score these sorts of tries. Oh, and aren't they happy about that? The Knights fans on their feet. Something to celebrate at long last. Waved away. Pushed it out to the right. There's a kick over the top. The bounce is good for Jackson. He's got numbers on the inside. Andrew Johns. Now it's Gidley. He's been called back for a forward pass as he puts it down. 
No try. Right here. They have butchered it. Unmarked men outside, and they've thrown a forward pass. Oh, what about the vision, though, of Andrew Johns to put the little chip over? This is the pass. Well, that's a good decision there by the referee. Glenn Hughes was coming across in cover, but just couldn't pick him up. Actually, that was Stephen Hughes. Wilson in behind the line. Wilson, it's there. Surely it's a try, is it? Stephen Price is claiming it. He got a hand on it. We'll check it with the video referee. Well, maybe they've got that elusive try. Well, this will be a very interesting one. Scotty Wilson, seen that they were short, put the little grubber kick in. Just there, I thought he was going to knock it on. And then Moody comes up with a miss. Oh, very, very close indeed. He's saying he's got it. This will give us a better look at this, Peter Mulholland. Be nice and close. That's a great kick from Scotty Wilson. Very, very well executed. But for old Stevie Price, I don't think so. I reckon that's a try. I don't think so. Yes. I'd like to have another look. Downward pressure is all you have to get on there. Soon, I hope. No try. Oh. He did not get enough downward pressure on it. The call. Polamanda. Line ball, was it forward? Yes, it's been called back just as they get across the line. Call back for a here. forward pass. Taking a man out. Obstruction, in fact. Taking a man out. Was. I saw our riddle. So he hasn't got the for the forward pass, he's got the for an obstruction. Tackle count restarts. Here's Butterfield. Gives it to Pincinelli. Oh. He throws it to nobody. Cleaned up by Craig in. Now Grogan's got an overlap on the far side. Brett Grogan, inside it goes to Craigie, and Craigie's going to race away and score the try for Newcastle. It's taken a while for the fans to get onto their feet in the second half, but they're up there now. And Newcastle lead by eight points to four. A wry smile on the face of the Chief. But really, it came from nothing. Oh, well, once again, it was one of the players slipped over as Big Butterfield takes the ball to the line with Pitcher. Oh, the big long ball helped to no one. They were short. Martini, he goes up there, he just slips, and Craigie picks it up. Brogan gets out the big right hand fin, fins him off. Travis Norton gave chase as quick as he could. That ball there was a great ball to pick up Craigie, back up him from the inside there. Tremendous grip on the young guy. You always get the feeling they're in control, Newcastle, even, even if it even doesn't look like that. But you have a look at it at two again. Andrew Johns about seven or eight metres in from touch. Back on the 20. We'll get a bird's eye view of this one. He's hooked it. So it's none from two for Andrew today. But two tries on the board now and four points of difference. And the fans counting down the clock. Grogan. Oh. Grogan got a great ball out and they're going to finish with a try. Owen Craigie's going to get a double right on the full time siren down the short side. These classy outside backs have done it again and Newcastle have it by 12 to 4 with the kick to come. What about Grogan here? Shaped though he's going to kick, stepped off his right foot once again, threw the ball at the little flick pass. And Robert Ralph in the back. Around saying look, that might have been forward. Well, that's a very, very good try with these youngsters. So that's uh, another try to Craigie. Eight tries all up. And the conversion attempt is waved away. So for the second week in a row, Canterbury have failed to score a try. Full time here at Marathon Stadium, 12-4 Newcastle over Canterbury.